of the criticisms that you've just levelled at the leadership of the Labour Party, I would le level at the People's Vote campaign. Mm. I would have a lot more time and respect for this campaign if you were just honest and upfront and said, we want to stop Brexit. And I'm actually, it I'm is in the gift of Parliament to do that. And you could lobby MPs to do that. What you can't but do I don't think is go be back to people referendum. in towns like mine who were asked in good faith, do you want to be in the EU or not? And they said, no, we don't and they still don't, and say to them, well, we're now going to give you a second go at this that you didn't ask for and you don't want, and we're going to give you two options on the ballot paper which you consider to be different versions of Remain, which you've already rejected. We are breaking our democracy, and there has to be a better way through I think this. this is breaking democracy. I think what's going on now is breaking democracy. When the biggest issue of our time, you have a government that's utterly dysfunctional, and come more divided than any cabinet we've ever seen, and you have a Labour Party that I think is just playing games on this Alistair, instead of what giving is, leadership. What is, what is complicated about the 2017 manifesto, which said that Labour respects the result of the referendum, and then it made clear, in a way that doesn't please all Leave voters, just as leave, respecting the result of the referendum doesn't please all Remain voters, that we would seek a close economic relationship with the right. EU after we leave. But and we would seek to protect jobs and put that first over other considerations like immigration. Now, these are choices yeah. that were made, and they're not always palatable choices. I have to go home. I'm going home later tonight to do door knocking in the local elections and I have to explain this to people on the doorstep that nobody is going to get everything that they want I but that. most of the public I that. are pragmatic and they're prepared to compromise and what they see when they see you and some of your colleagues in the people's vote campaign is just a group of people who are not prepared to listen not prepared to I compromise I don't agree with that though that's what, why we're stuck yeah but 